Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of It's Bandit O'Clock Series 2. As you can see, a slightly different setup this week. We're in a different part of the garage and we're doing the forks. Someone's painted them black, they haven't done a very good job of it and it needs sorting out. So I'm gonna show you the process of how I'm gonna make them look much, much better. I'm gonna be painting them silver so they look more like they did as standard. Standard! <laughs> So there's not gonna be as much talking as normal in this video. I'm just gonna show you through the process as it's a bit time consuming and there's not much to actually talk about when doing it. There's more, more doing than talking, so. Um, lots of people have been asking in the comments about what I'm gonna be doing with a gearbox and if you wait right till the end of the video, I'm actually gonna show you what I decided to do in the end. Next week, I should actually be fixing the gearbox. So stick around to the end to find out about that. So enough talking, I'm gonna get my angle die grinder out you see me use on the frame before I got it powder coated to clean all this black paint off. So let's get the tools out and get started.
So before I started the journey of painting my forks, I probably should have said, one of my friends said to me, I am without a doubt the worst painter he's ever met. So if you're using this as a how-to guide, might be worth checking out a few others as well. But um, the one thing I will say is it's very cold in here. Um, and it should be about 15 degrees to paint. So fingers crossed this dries this week so I can put another coat on and do the rest of it. So yeah, uh, I've shook the can up. I've actually warmed the can up in the house just to give it a bit of a fighting chance. Been shaking it. So now it's time to do a bit of spraying. <laughs> Right, you might have noticed the forks have been primed. It's now the next day. I took them inside last night to keep them warm and hopefully let the paint cure and, and dry a little bit. So, should be good for painting today. Now, uh, the finish on them is pretty good. Um, I'm actually really happy with it, so I'm not even gonna sand it down. Uh, I'm just gonna paint straight over the top. So, enough of the talking, let's start painting. <laughs> Now the forks have been painted silver. I've put a couple of coats on there as you can see in the video now. And the only thing I've got to do left is lacquer them, but I'm not sure they're actually gonna be dry yet and ready for lacquer. So I'm actually gonna leave them another day and lacquer them tomorrow. But tomorrow is actually Monday. I am recording this on a Sunday. So I'm gonna pass on that, but the bit that everyone's been asking about is what am I gonna do about the gearbox problems in here? What solution have I gone for? Have I gone for a second hand option? Have I gone for the new parts? So, time to do a bit of an unboxing from MSP. We've got a lovely box full of new parts. That's what I've decided to go for. Should we open them up, have a look inside? Now MSP have been very kind enough to send us these parts. They're loving the videos, they're loving what we're doing to the Bandit and keeping it going for lots of years to come. So they said, don't put second hand stuff in there, put the new stuff you need to put in. So he even sent us a sticker, everyone loves a sticker. So yeah, thank you very much to 
to MSP. You guys were spot on. Sent them out nice and quick as well. So lots of packing is always a good thing. So let's have a look in the box, shall we? First up, that's going to be my input shaft. Shall I open it up? Might as well. Anyone that's ever bought brand new parts from Suzuki, I don't know why, but I just love those red and white stickers. So, let's have a look, shall we? Oh, bit, bit more tape on it. loads of tape here we go look brand spanking new input shaft how cool is that right old bit of kit so yeah well happy thank you MSP we really do appreciate it right what else we got in the box we've got a starter cover gasket we've got the ignition cover gasket we've got the clutch cover gasket and the last one the sump gasket now we also have a big bag of bits because there's lots of little tiny bits and pieces we needed so let me try and undo this right let's have a dig through the bag shall we so we've got sir clips there for all the gears to keep them on the shafts we've got the gear selector seal we have two little o-rings that go between the two halves of the crank cases oh, I love them little stickers we've got some more sir clips we've got an output shaft seal I'm going to drop some of this something else I've replaced is the engine mounts that go on the front of the engine they were a bit wobbly normally you have to tap them out and these fell out when I took the bolts out so well worth replacing those we've got a push rod seal for the clutch we've got another engine mount so we've got a pair of those because they were both bad and now new gears let's have a look shall we take it out of the bag and how cool that looks it's amazing the difference between them so can't wait to put that in because that should solve all our whining problems because no one likes whining do they all right there we have another gear it's in some Japanese paper come straight from Japan last one little box should have the output bearing in there there we go one output shaft bearing now most of the time when I'm buying new bearings I'll go to my local bearing supplier 
just because they've got them on the shelf and they're nice and quick but with these bearings they're a little bit special they're super thick there's also a groove in them for a, a retainer and it stops the bearing moving left and right and there's also a little locating dowel so they're quite a specialist bearing these ones so I'm really happy oh, smooth unlike mine which is really rough and it's got loads of play on it so lovely job you right put that in a bag and there we go so next week I can crack on with fixing the gearbox swap the shaft out swap the gears out start putting the engine back together so I've got to say a massive thank you to MSP motorcycle spares there's a link to their website in the description if you could give it a click go and have a look at your bandit parts and see all the stuff they do they are very very reasonably priced compared to some other brand new Suzuki parts places so yeah well worth checking them out and thank you very much Drew, for helping us keep this old old bandit on the road so thank you very much to them and thank you to everyone who likes shares and comments and subscribes with the videos we really do appreciate it we love reading through your comments so yeah thank you very much guys uh, and until next week we'll see you later